Hello, it's Driveway DIY, back to my uh, welding series, uh, teaching myself to weld. Uh, right, I've got to a bit of an update, I've got everything I need. Got me welder, core flux welder, wire welder. Got my helmets, got my tools, got a toolbox with bits and bobs in it. Got my gloves, uh, got these really, really cheap, but they seem to do the job. Hopefully they'll do the job, if they don't get burnt hands. Got my anti splatter weld spray, so welding spray. So I've got everything I need really, so it's time to weld. So I've got my stuff. Well, what I'm going to weld is I've got an old rake which I've cleaned down. So my first job is to tack weld this. I haven't welded anything yet, so I'm going to do, I'm going to attach that to, to this looks like a small medieval rake but it's about 50 years old and it broke on me so I'm going to weld this back together so we go out and buy a new one uh, so I'm going to put four tack welds on it uh, one there one there and then two on the other side and then that's going to be my first ever weld, so we'll see how that goes. So on this one I'm about to do the welding. Uh, i go straight into it really. I've, I've really, really looked into it, uh, but as you can see, I probably missed the joint two or three times, so I had to keep going back. I thought I'd hit it. Getting used to the uh, to the mask was welding mask was quite difficult because it kept going blocking out on me. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I had to go over it a couple of times, but it's, it, and the Y came out as well, so I had to clip that off. Uh, but on the next bit, when I turned it over, it sort of, uh, I missed it again a couple of times. Just getting used to where the gun's supposed to be and where the wire is, because it's hard to see when you got the mask on. But in the end, I actually got the weld done and uh, it, it did the job. But it's by no means perfect whatsoever, but uh, it, it you know, for a first time, I'm going to keep welding. I've got loads of jobs to do around the place to practice my welding on. So, uh, yeah, quite happy. So, I've officially welded, I've officially done my first welds, my first tack welds. So basically we've got, uh, it's probably not quite on straight, but I've welded it and it's together. And this is, I'm going to finish welding it, I'm going to weld it properly. Uh, the splatter weren't too bad. Uh, did I have it on the right setting? Well, looks like it. Uh, between between four and five for the wire of the speed and I had it on low and 
Uh, I don't know what you think. Basically, it's welded it. I've officially welded something and it's held in together. Uh, it, it ain't perfect, it's far from it. Uh, that one ain't too bad, that one's pretty shit. Those two, well, it holds it together. Probably need to grind it down. But uh, yeah, well, that's it. I've officially welded, it wasn't too difficult. Having the right gear, it makes everything so much easier. Video YouTubes that I've seen make it look more volatile than it actually is when you're next to it and doing it. So you've got the goggles, you've got the gloves, uh, making sure your ground's really, really good. So make sure you're growing back to bare metal. Yeah, and that's pretty, uh, I've officially welded it. It ain't too difficult, but obviously it depends on what you're doing. So uh, uh, the next part, I'm going to be uh, actually welding it properly across and see how we get on with that. Uh, thanks for watching.